I won't, I won't argue with you, but part of your professional responsibility is to notify your principal because you were notified and they, and either directly or indirectly. That's why you're here. I was, I'm only here to observe it. Our joint venture partners were notified. So notification on the part of the council is notification to the principal likewise. That's the, that's the uh, advice of this chair. Notify your, notify your principal, I don't argue with you, notify your principal immediately that we are conducting a hearing, we will have a second hearing, and we will place you in contempt if you don't produce your principal here. Understood? You may sit down. Next. From Holy Family Printing Corporation, Your Honor, an invitation was sent to Mr. Leopoldo Gomez but they sent an excuse letter seeking a 10-day extension of the time to submit a counter affidavit and also to inform us through their lawyers that the principal, Mr. Gomez, will not be able to attend today, Your Honor. Uh, ang atin pong dinidinig ngayon ay patungkol sa dalawang resolusyon. Senate Resolution 147, na nagmula kay Senator Aquilino Pimentel, a resolution directing the Senate Committee on Accountability of the Blue Ribbon to conduct an, an investigation in aid of legislation on the alleged undue payment given by the Land Transportation Office to the joint venture of Dermalag Identification System, Holy Family Printing Corporation, Microgenesis, and Verzontal Builders. The second Senate resolution is re Senate Resolution 348, Introduced by Senator Aimee Marcos, resolution directing the appropriate Senate committee to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation into the alleged corruption involving the, the road transportation IT infrastructure project of the Land Transportation Office or the LTO. So, we can now ask Senator Pimentel. Thank you. Thank any you, introductory Chairman. statement, Your Honor? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'll be very brief because I'm I'm online lang, uh, Mr. Chairman. Una sa lahat, salamat to Mr. Chairman for acting immediately on the resolution I filed. And from our research, I think we need also to congratulate the COA, the Commission on Audit, because if not for their report, uh, the the this matter or these matters or issues would not have been brought to our attention formally. Digitalization ng LTO ay tagtad pa rin ang lumang problema gaya ng backlog sa vehicle plates at license cards, mabagal at unserviceable na portal, mahabang pila, at matagal na turnover ng servisyo. Bagamat may mga magagandang feedback sa ibang LTO offices, Ang LTO digitalization plan ay chaotic pa rin. Kumbaga sa computer software, nasa beta phase pa rin. Ang laging nirarason ng LTO ay problema kay Dermanog. Pero sabi naman ng Dermanog, ayaw daw gamitin ng LTO ang features ng bagong Land Transportation Management System, LTMS. Halos kalahating dekada na ang bangayang ito sa pagitan ng LTO at Dermanog. Problema din ang dating service provider na Stradcom dahil patuloy pa rin nating binabayaran dito ang utang na minana pa sa nakaraang mga administrasyon. Kasabay nito, nagbabayad din tayo ng maintenance fees sa Dermalo para sa LTMS. We are paying for two providers but availing the service of one. Ayon din sa COA, tinanggap na lang ng LTO ang core applications ng LTMS at binayaran ng Dermalog despite issues with the processes and functionalities. Is LTO aware of these deficiencies prior to acceptance and payment? Mukhang nagpabaya na naman ang ahensya dito. Na na naman ang status sa LTO. Mr. Chairperson, we thank the committee for finally hearing the issues hounding the LTO's digitalization plan. Para naman matulda ka ng issue nito. Ilang billion na binabayaran natin dito pero hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin natin matanggap ang tunay na benepisyon na dapat ginagawa ng mga kontratang ito. Maraming salamat po. Nagbayad na ba tayo bago ho nakompleto yung proyekto? At bakit? I think you can you can answer that. Secretary Bautista, you have the floor. And our undivided attention likewise. 
Thank you po, uh, Chairman uh, Tolentino. No? Uh, on your question about uh, the LTO infrastructure and information system project, no? uh, it was uh, originally conceptualized by then uh, the Department of Transportation and Communication, no? now the OTR, uh, as early as 2010. No? It was approved by the Investment Coordination Committee of the National Economic and Development Authority Board on March 22, 2012, and the corresponding multi-year contracting authority, or MICA, was issued by the Department of Budget and Management on December 12, 2012, amounting to 10,800,000,000. 477,242 pesos. Secretary, it's 10 billion, not, not 8 billion. 10 billion po ang uh, inaproban ng uh, Department of Budget and Management in 2012. No? Covering the period po from uh, 2013 to 2022. No? Uh, during the procurement process, the project was divided into two components as follows. No? Yung first component po is the LTO frontline services with an approved budget of 3.4 billion pesos. No? And uh, it was uh, entered into po uh, in favor of the joint venture of Dermalog Identification Systems, Holy Family Printing Corporation, Microgenesis Software Corporation, and Bersontal Builders Incorporated. Yan po yung uh, first component. No? The second component po is the LTO in, for LTO internal operations no? uh, amounting to 2,631,432,700 pesos. No? Uh, on in favor of various suppliers covering various uh, lots or deliverables. No? So, ang total amount po uh, is 5,778,424,000 629 and 20 centavos. No? Uh, this fund po uh, was uh, downloaded from uh, DOTR to uh, LTO. No? Uh, ang pinanggalingan po nito, ng source po ng fund is from uh, the general... Uh, uh, appropriation uh, Act of 2015 uh, amounting 298 million pesos. 2016, uh, 2.5 billion pesos. 2017, 2.3 billion pesos. 2021, uh, 1.2 billion for a total uh, downloaded amount, uh, price po or uh, money of 5.195 billion pesos no? downloaded from the OTR to LTO. No? Uh, in order to fully cover the total contract obligation of the two components, uh, LTO required an additional allotment of 583,380,000, which may be charged against the available 1.2 billion under the General Appropriation Act of 2022. Yan po ang pinanggalingan nitong uh, programa po ng uh, LTO Infrastructure and Information uh, Systems Projects. No? Direct to the point. Bakit po nakapagbayad nang hindi pa tapos yung proyekto? Uh, ang LTO po siguro ang dapat sumagot nito. No, no but... Before before LTO answers, may, ginawa ko yung pegging order kanina, yung pagbabayad po ng uh, advance would now entail presidential approval. Mayroon tayong batas doon. Mm. Kailangan po na approval ng Office of the President. Yun, advance payment. Sorry. Advance payment po. Advance payment, opo. So pag, pag nagbayad tayo, kailangan may presidential approval, sa inyo po bang patakaran Dumidiretso ang LTO sa Office of the President o dumadaan sa ang sekretary po ang dapat na mag-request sa Office of the President? Ang, yung contract po natin ang, uh, na ginawa ng LTO and uh, Dermalog, ang payment po is based on certain milestone. No? Hindi, po uh, hindi po siya advance payment. 
my my question has something to do whether 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 the performance made by the other party is sufficient enough to entail an appropriate payment. Payment. <laughs> eh, kung, kung hin, kagaya po ng sinabi ni Senator Grace po, na hindi pa nakalagay din dito sa inyo, sa inyong uh, affidavit, number eight, we reiterate that no project is perfect. So kahit hindi pa ho tapos ito, may narapat na bayaran dahil yun ang sa kontrata. Tama mo ba yan? Uh, ganun po, yes po. Kaya na-flag down ng COA. Is the, who is the LTO now? Uh, Who's supposed to be the LTO? Sinong pwedeng sumagot sa LTO? Isn't, isn't it a fact that, that we have a new L OIC for the LTO? Uh, ang OIC po natin si uh, ASEC uh, Hector Villacorta. No? Is he, At, uh, is he knowledgeable now? This can be answered now? po by, uh, by uh, Mr. Claudio Bonsol. No? Mr. Claudio Bonsol is the assistant OIC? Ano? Hindi po. Ah. MID chip po. Uh, sa, 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 sa information po. Uh, management information. This and you're under oath. Go ahead. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon po. Good afternoon, everyone. Regarding po dun sa question na uh, um, whether na-address na po yung mga issues sa version 2.3, point something po. Kasi we recently launched po yung aming version 2.5.1 addressing a lot of issues po. Sa ngayon po kasi ang kwan na lang po namin is e, yung aming uh, nagiging uh, kumbaga ini-implement po is yung LTMS initial registration po. Ah, uh, uh, kwan siya po sir, uh, ito na po yung aming ini-implement ngayon. What is initial registration? This is the kwan sir, uh, car initial registration po. Poche. Apo. Ito na lang po yung remaining module na kailangan namin tapusin. Nagpa-parallel testing, uh, nagpa-parallel implementation na po kami. You're referring to brand new cars or even yeah. second-hand cars? Re, uh, brand new cars po. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yun na lang ang kulang. Pakatapos, um, completed na po ang, ang LTMS. Uh, Your Honor, Senator Pimentel? Yes. Would that suffice? S siguro nga siguro yung uh, siguro malaman natin yung ano kasi 3.1 billion pesos itong in order natin na uh, software na ginawa specifically supposed to be for the LTO's uh, needs and functions and there are so called core applications mm -hmm. dapat malaman siguro natin ano ba yon na uh, driver's license uh, kasi sa word sa sagot ni Uh, no ating resource person, Mr. Chairman, merong difference yata ang renewal kaysa sa first time registration. Eh. So ano ba yun? Sa driver's license, uh, original uh, registration, kasala, kasali ba dyan, renewal, and then sa motor vehicle, ano pa ba? Ano pa ba, ano pa ba yung mga core applications sa in-order natin? Para yung mga maru marurunong sa, sa software, yung merong exposure sa software, malaman nila kung... Reasonable ba yung charge uh, para dun sa mga applications na ibibigay po ng uh, Dermalog? Uh, so, uh, so Mr. In, Chair? In due time siguro, Mr. Chairman, malalaman natin yan. I, I, I give way to Senator Grace Poe, Mr. Chairman. Senator Grace Poe, yes. you're recognized. Thank, thank you to the minority leader. Just an enjoiner, may punto ang minority leader. Kasi hindi naman tayo talaga technical dito, but we're, we're trying to see if the money of the people is actually properly spent. So LTMS stands for um, exactly uh, the meaning of LTMS is Land Transportation Management mm -hmm. System. So ano ba ang mga kasamang deliverables dito? Nagaya nga ng sinabi ni uh, Senator Coco Pimentel, ano ba yan? Uh, License, uh, renewal, registration, new registration of cars. Can you please enumerate for the body what will be included in these deliverables of Dermalog? We'll answer. Is it uh, Secretary Bautista or the LTO representative? Uh, LTO, can you answer? The LTMS or the Land Transportation Management System po, is consists of seven core modules the driver's licensing system, the revenue collection system, 
the online appointment, uh, online application and appointment system, the executive information system, the uh, motor vehicle inspection and uh, registration system, and then the law enforcement and traffic adjudication system. So all and of the that. public portal po. So lahat yan kasama dito sa sistema ito. Dapat nagagawa ito ng LTMS. At sinasabi mo, isa na lang ang kulang nila. Ano nga yung kulang na yun? Sa motor vehicle, in, sa MBIRS po, isa po siyang parang uh, sub-module po ng MBIRS, which is the initial registration. Pero actually, uh, kung po, uh, this uh, motor vehicle initial registration system po, uh, was already delivered na po based on TOR. What we are, we are implementing na lang po ngayon is the enhanced version. Uh, ano yung enhanced version? Uh, the enhanced version po is with additional functionality na hindi po present dun sa naunang version which is inasa sa TOR po. Okay, so kunyari ako magpaparehistro ng sasakyan na bago, dito na ako dadaan sa portal na to. Come again po, ma'am. Kung magpaparehistro ng bagong sasakyan, dito na dada dadaan sa LTMS system na to. Pwede na to online. Oh, uh, hindi pa po siya online. Sa ngayon po, ang nangyayari pong registration is on-site pa rin po. So on-site, oh, pero mas ma mapapabilis dito sa sistema na ito. Opo, uh, centralized na po yung system at the same time po, uh, mas mabilis na po yung proseso niya ngayon kasi may mga additional functionalities po. Okay. Um, matanong ko lang, Mr. Chair, ha? kasi dati na rin ito naging issue. Dati nagkaroon ng uh, sinasabi na pagkukulang o mag magkukulang ang pag-issue ng driver's license. Uh, alam ko, narinig din yon dahil nga daw hindi naagapan ang pag-procure dito kaya yung mga driver's licenses ay magiging temporary pa lamang. So, ang tinuturo nilang dahilan ay iba-iba. Merong mismanagement ng LTO leadership. Meron din nagsasabi, dahil daw sinentralize na ang procurement above 50 million for LTO to, uh, for DOTR to give a go signal and to study, nagkaroon tuloy ng delay dahil ang DOTR ay hindi daw nag-release kagad ng approval. So may I ask directly from our secretary what the issue is here? Because it seems that there was a resignation in the LTO precisely because of this, uh, I don't know, um, disagreement, miscommunication. So number one, I'd like to know who actually dropped the ball. Number two, I'd like to know, is there really going to be still a um, backlog on the issuance of new driver's licenses? Because I think these are all connected with uh, the type of services being provided by the DOTR and the LTO. Secretary Bautista, you can, you can reply. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. No, Yun pong... Uh, uh procurement ng uh, ID, uh, license po, uh, should have started uh, as early as uh, August of uh, 2022 po, no? uh, when uh, the NEP was uh, submitted to Congress. No? Pwede na pong mag-start yung uh, early procurement ng uh, mga ID cards. No? Uh, unfortunately po, uh, hindi po nagawa yan ng LTO, no? Uh, and uh, noon pong January 25, 2023, uh, we issued a special order no? uh, requiring uh, the sectoral offices of uh, the Department of Transportation no? to uh, have uh, the procurement of uh, 50 million and above through the central BAC of the DOTR. No? So that was uh, issued po uh, January 25, no? and uh, during that time, uh, LTO has no uh, uh, active uh, uh, procurement, no? So uh, inabot po siya ng aming special order, no? And we requested uh, LTO to submit to us 
the terms of reference, no? So, uh, January 25 po yung aming uh, uh, special order, no? Uh, nung January 31, uh, uh, we issued a memorandum to LTO to submit to us the terms of reference, no? So that uh, the central back uh, of the OTR can conduct the procurement, no? Unfortunately po, sabi, na, sabi nila hindi pa sila ready, no? So we gave them a deadline of February 15, no? Uh, and hindi pa rin po nila nasubmit yung uh, terms of reference, no? And it was uh, only in uh, February 28, no? Uh, 2023, uh, that uh, there's, they submitted no? a one-page uh, PPMP or uh, Project Procurement Management Plan. No? So, yun po. Uh, and uh, naisubmit po nila sa amin yung uh, uh, terms of reference uh, March 21, 2023. No? Kaya po, uh, doon pa lang nag-start. Uh, ibig sabihin, that's the only time that uh, LTO is ready to start the procurement. No? Kasi po, kung uh, ready na sila, uh, dapat as early as January when uh, we requested them to submit the terms of reference, eh, dapat uh, naibigay na nila yan sa Central uh, Bids and Awards Committee of the OTR. No?